Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. As you may have been able to tell, I am again drawing at work. I have a lot of free time at work, so I sit there and draw pictures. And again, I am drawing on cardboard because that's what we have the most of around there is cardboard pieces that I could draw on. So I pick them up and save them and, and uh, draw on them. Uh, I'm working with a big uh, Sharpie. Uh, the big bat, big bat sharpies, and uh, just kind of uh, drawing the outline on. Uh, it looks like a sunflower. Sometimes I get asked, uh, "Where, where do I get my ideas? Where do I get uh, my inspiration to draw the various things that I draw?" Because as you can tell, I from the just a few videos that I've made so far, and if you've looked at my website. Uh, I have a wide variety of things that I like to draw and a wide variety of styles that I draw in and uh, sometimes uh, people want to know where do I get the ideas for these things and I really just it's hard it's a hard question to answer because uh, they just kind of like come into my head I just kind of blur out my mind and, and I let an image just sort of float in there and sometimes it just kind of like, like, like smoke turning into something. The idea just sort of comes together inside my brain. Uh, sometimes I hear a, uh, a verse in a song that, that invokes an image inside my head. Sometimes I uh, will be reading a book and uh, I'll read be reading a description about something and it'll, it'll create an image inside my head that, that's really strong and kind of stays there. Um, I even get glimpses of ideas from watching a movie and there'll be a scene that just like really just striking the way the way the cinematography was put together with it and that's straight you know, that, on that, that will uh, stick with me until I just kind of got to draw something from it. Uh, sometimes this is based on moods and how I feel about things. Sometimes I'm, you know, in a good mood or a bad mood, uh, happy, whatever, stressed. That'll change what I want to draw and what it's going to look like. So I've got done with the outlining here. Um, I was not happy with the way it was going with the board up on the wall like that. And uh, the camera angle was really, really funky. So I've now put the uh, cardboard down on a flat surface and put the camera above me. Um, I had to go out into the wood shop and build me a little device to attach to the window right there by next to me. So my camera could uh, point directly down at me. I say camera, it's actually my old cell phone. So now I'm doing in the shading. Um, I really enjoy doing uh, fast and loose shading so it's uh, really expressive and uh, I like I like the uh, I like to do that and uh, this this uh, subject matter is something organic like an old uh, uh, dried up uh, sunflower is really good for that kind of thing because it just sort of uh, has a lot of cracks and crevices and, and uh, things like that so I uh, enjoy that fast. I rarely know where it's going to go when I start. I, I usually have sort of a really vague image in my mind of, of what I'm going for. I just really kind of look for inspiration as I move and draw and just what I put down in the moment will sort of dictate what comes next. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll move a certain way and I'll go, oh wow, I really like that look, I really like that line, I really like that, that, that shadow or that, that group of lines and I, I want to I wanna kind of carry them through. Um, and uh, so that's just kind of the way I work. Now I'm uh, fattening up the, uh, the lines, creating a little dominance with uh, bringing out some of the details, some of the uh, lower details, and um, 
in the bottom sides of things, uh, the lines will be fatter, thicker, kind of gives it a, a, a weight. It gives it a little bit darker feeling like the light is on the other, on the other side. Um, sometimes you'll get that nice fat, uh, thin line when you're using a paintbrush. And as you go around the corner, you kind of push down a little bit more and the paintbrush kind of splooshes out uh, with uh, Sharpies. You, it's not quite the same. So you kind of got to go back over and sort of make it look like it's fat and thin. And, and uh, that just adds to the uh, dynamicness of the, of the image. Okay, so this uh, footage was actually shot before the Roadster drawing that I did. Um, but I had noticed that uh, some of the drawing was off screen and I wasn't sure if I would use it or not. But then after reviewing it and looking at it, it really wasn't that bad. It was only in a few places, so I didn't find that too bothersome. So I decided to go ahead and do it. So. It's, this is really basically the second time that I've drawn in front of the camera and uh, I noticed that it was challenging a little bit because it, uh, even though there was you know there's no people on the other side of the camera at the moment um, there's something in your brain that tells you that there you know potentially many people will see it so it's still like a window into your little private area of uh, creativity and so kind of tends to make you act a certain way so I really attempted to just kind of let go of the fact that there's a camera out there. By the time I got to the Roadster I was starting to feel more comfortable with uh, drawing in front of the camera. So anyhow it's uh, now I'm putting in white highlights uh, that's one of the great things about uh, drawing on uh, something like cardboard or old pieces of wood or something you know grayish or you know dark brown or something like that. Is it's like you can you can add highlights and it brings them out even more, which is uh, really kind of cool. Um, you can add highlights to anything really, but it just looks kind of neat when it's on something darker and. Uh, so I'm going through and doing that again uh, like I said on the uh, Roadster one you got to be careful it's it's really easy just to get a little bit carried away with the whole white highlights thing and you just kind of go all over the place and next thing you know you, you, you kind of like did too much you know and so it's a real it's a real thing where you got to like just really keep an eye on um, what's too much so thank you for watching today's video. Please subscribe, like, comment. You can give me ideas for things I can draw in the future. And um, enjoy. Thank you.